this is John F. Kennedy, and I'm certain there are many beings that want to hear about the conspiracies about America and uh, my experience in America and what the hell is going on in America and the world and God knows what. Um, well, what I'm able to say is that uh, I was very, very sad when I died. It sounds like a child saying. I was sad, <laughs> but um, sadness was quite immense and, and, and vast and extensive because, you know, I was here to make a difference and I knew I had the ability to make a difference, I had the power to make the difference and I had the control to make the difference. I knew exactly what was required to have be directed and changed in America and not only there but with all foreign affairs and um, I knew that if I did not do it, what will happen to America? See, a country is able to sway two ways. You have a country that is that supports the people, people supports the country, the country supports the people, the president, the government supports the people. It's all about support. You have a support infrastructure. And it's equal and one, and, and you. Ha we, I had the ability to do that. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, um, who I required, in what positions. God, I had everything planned. And then I got shot. <laughs> and then you realize something. Because I, I looked at why when I died. I had everything perfectly in place. It, it was perfect. I mean, I, I'm not stupid. People are not stupid. People know exactly what to do and how to do it. And what is required to be done. But yet everything always veers the other way. Always, if you have a look, always. I mean, that nothing ever just goes straight, direct, to the point. Manifest, get it done. This is how it is, this is how it must be. And that direct statement, that direct placement of um, the necessary things that are required to be done is the best for all. And I always had the best for all in consideration. It is not difficult. Even in my position, it is really not difficult. It is the most simplistic manifestation, direction, to be taken. And what I discovered is an interesting thing is the following. I may have been shot, but th that shot was not only by the being or the person who did it, but by all the people in the country. Um, I discovered an interesting thing. Um, people are where they are not just because of themselves but because of all of humanity as collectively and in terms of me being shot it is the inherent desire for man to struggle the inherent desire for man to try and survive in hardship difficulty um, frustration, the desire for man to have to want to blame someone or something for their world, their life, the experience of themselves. And it's interesting because what happened when I got shot, everything happened exactly the way that man desired it to. Look at where America is, is at the moment, look at where the country is at the moment. And you're able to blame the government, you're able to blame George Bush, you're able to blame Dick Cheney, but it's not them. A government position is the position of man in that country, the presentation of man in that country, and their application, their position, their expression is everyone in that country is together, together's expression. 
they're probably asking why. Why would we do that? Are we doing that? I'm not aware of it. Of course you're not aware of it. It's inherent. It's, it's, it's who you've, what you've accepted and allowed. It's, it's like a habit. It's who you are. You know you can't see something unless someone else points it out who sees it beyond it, which would be me. When you're in something, as something, of course you won't see it. I mean, have a look. When, for instance, you're an ice cube, and you experience yourself as this ice cube, inside it, as it, but you communicate with me. You are so this ice cube, and you're these molecules in this ice cube, as this ice cube. You're a molecule, and you're communicating with me, and I said to you, you're an ice cube, did you know that? But you're a singular molecule, as that ice cube. You say, no, I'm this molecule. Something like that. I know it's a very poor example, maybe, but just to give you a perspective. So what is George and Cheney and all those people in government in America showing you? What you are accepting and allowing inside yourself as yourself. That's it. And I would give one suggestion. I would say stop blaming. I would say stop being angry. I would say stop justifying. I would say stop denying. Look at what it is that inherent desire inside you to want to struggle, to want to survive, to want to experience hardship. Why else would something exist like that, human beings? Why would anything exist in this world but the power we give, give it to for its existence? Who else is here but us? And I'd say the dimensional beings are quite on their way in cleaning up their act, yet they have no influence here. All that manifest influence in this world is us, because who else is here? Please. Have a look. Have a look right next to you. If you look right, if you look left, if you look forward, if you look back, if you look at yourself, who's here? You're here. Do you want to sort out America, sort out the world? Start with yourself. You know, start with yourself. And if others don't want to hear yet, don't bother yourself with them. First, I'd say focus and stand inside yourself and make sure you're clear. So I'd say that you'd maybe next time just first have a look before you start blaming, justifying the current existence, expression of America. It's not George Bush. It's not Dick Cheney. They're merely presenting a position, the expression of the entire country collectively. And, it, and for my death, the same thing happened. It's what everyone actually asked for. Because no one wanted to accept and experience a world of support, a world where I had the ability to do what was necessary to be done. You may ask for it. You may scream and you may cry and you may desire and you may wish. But actually, in that asking, crying and wishing for help, you're actually asking for more. This is John F. Kennedy. Thank you very much.